The fastest way to get to Brutal Black Dragons is by using Xerix Amulet. So if you have that, just teleport to this place and move whatever I show you on the map right now. And once you go down the dungeon instantly, there's going to be Brutal Black Dragons. There's no walking anywhere instantly, they're going to be down there. And what's also nice about this place is that there's bank nearby. If you don't have the Xerix amulet, then you go to Port Saddam, travel to Zia, go to the statue, and then investigate it, or whatever option is gonna have, and once in the dungeon, go to Northwest, and you're gonna reach uh, Brutal Black Dragons, and it's gonna have a rope near them, so you don't have to do the, the same thing, you know, um, go to Port Saddam, it's gonna have a rope that will lead you very close to the bank. So this is a new type of dragon. Previously we had brutal green dragons. Now we have blue, red, and black. And obviously black ones are gonna drop the best loot as they are the highest tier, but they're gonna take way longer to kill. Like the defense that they have is insane. You're, you're not hitting that much at all. And they have insane amount of health as well, over 300. They're using three attack styles, melee, magic, and dragon fire. So the best way to kill them is by using range, as you will not be taking any melee damage, and you can protect from magic. And if you have anti-fire potion enabled and magic protection prayer, you're not taking any dragon fire damage as well. So you don't even need anti-dragon shield or dragon fire shield to kill these, as you're gonna see most people are using blowpipe to kill them which is okay. Uh, you can also use bolts. Oh, and please tell me how I'm being lazy by not making 10 hours of brutal black dragons, but instead 150 kills. Look, people want to see loot as soon as possible. They were released today, so I'm making the video today, even if it's not that many kills. But I also got all the totem pieces, if you're wondering. Uh, they're used to upgrade Silverlight, and that's gonna be for another video. I can tell you that these dragons are gonna be the new skeletal vivants if not better, because they have no requirements to kill, no slayer, no favor to gain, nothing. You just go to this place and you kill them. And they have alkable drops, most of them are alkables, so they just cannot crash. They also have runes and arrows, they're not gonna crash either. They have some, uh, I guess, black dragon hides, yes. Those will crash as they are 3,000 now. You know, previously there was no good source of obtaining black dragon hides, so those, yes. Those are gonna crash a little bit, but they still hold that high alk value because of black dragon hide bodies. And what you're gonna see at the end of this video, the final price check, this is what you pretty much should expect to get even a month from now. So let's go loot from 6 hours or 150 brutal black dragon kills. You may be thinking, why did it take you so long to kill them? 6 hours, what the hell? It's because it's so crowded. People would snipe the kills all the time. It's not multi, but it's like six people per world. And there are only four dragons, you know, in the, in the world. It's very hard to get the kills. So if you're watching this a month from now, probably it's going to be much easier. Let's go. 4.5 mil. Even though it took me six hours to get all of these kills, it's still so fucking much. And I got no dragon full helms. You can get them. But it's very rare. I think it's 1 in 32,000. You can also get a Draconic Visage, which is 1 in 10,000. Dragon Plate Legs, which is 1 in 512. All of these have been confirmed, by the way, by Mod John C in yesterday's live stream about these catacombs that were released. I also got Elite Clue Scroll, which I did not complete. I'm not planning to complete it. It's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, that is good. Got all the totem pieces, two of these. Thank you very much for watching this video though, hope you enjoyed it, and bye!